Are we really alone in this universe? Is it just us? Or are there more life forms out there that may resemble our species? I guess nobody really knows. With the advancements in modern science as we know it, there have been countless attempts made by scientists and researchers alike to contact alien life, to really understand if there's more to this universe than just us humans. There is a possibility that there are other galaxies, other solar systems that exist that could inhabit life, much like ours. Many have claimed that monoliths or obelisks located across the planet may just be that unique link between us and other alien beings across the universe. In my mind, although different in form, monoliths and obelisks serve the same purpose. So throughout this video essay, I will try to address these two terms in an interlinked manner. The form and structure of these obelisks or monoliths is very different from man-made monuments we have today. This has also led many to imagine if obelisks were created by beings not from our planet, or simply aliens. Monoliths are actually located in different parts of this planet. Most people look at them as artistic creations sculptures which were made by people who came before us. But what if that's not the case? What if there's more to it than what we think? Monoliths are actually considered by some as an antenna to contact alien life, and any antenna can receive a broadcast and can give a broadcast out. It would seem like there is a worldwide system, much like a wireless broadcasting system we have today. These monoliths would then broadcast power into the atmosphere, and remote locations around the world would pick up this power, much like the frequencies that are picked up by radios, television sets, satellite phones, or a computer. This seems to be a system that was set up by aliens thousands of years ago, and incredibly, they didn't just do it on planet Earth, but also Mars. The Mars Global Satellite snapped a picture of a mysterious object that appears to be a rectangular rock on Phobos, one of the two moons orbiting Mars. They then called it the Phobos monolith. Experts claimed that it was artificial, and they also predicted that when humans actually go to Mars and study the rock, everything in terms of how we looked at our history would change. we have to realize that these are more than just stones. There is a kind of energy field around them, and it works through the stones by the way of their placement. If put in a circle, or in rows, they would ground celestial energy, transmit it, and download it into a local landscape. It was meant to be a kind of a passive, continuous input to Earth from celestial and galactic realms. These tall standing stones all around the world would easily have been a part of some kind of an energy grid around the planet, connecting up energies of the Earth, and somehow harnessing cosmic energy with Earth energy, which will be used for various purposes, purposes that we're only just starting to understand. This sort of megalithic landscape was designed to create higher nodes of awareness in multiple places. Their placement was specific to take advantage of the implicit energy aspects and gradients in the landscape. For example, Stonehenge. We now know that these stones were positioned above the underground water flows. The water moves, generates energy, and the stones receive the energy, and slowly release it. The people before us kept being around the monoliths, keeping their hands on the stones, receiving the energy and if the stones were arranged in a pattern, it would create a kind of a geometry of consciousness that would have an uplifting effect on people who were in proximity to them. In Avebury, the ancient ancestors used to say that the stones were able to hold the energy, the souls, 
the spirit of their ancestors, of even the gods. Monoliths are interconnected by design, tapping into the energy of the earth, and also serving as a beacon to link the celestial beings. Is it really possible that the ancient monoliths hold an advance, perhaps, an extraterrestrial power we have yet to realize? And if so, just what will happen when we unlock that mystery of the monoliths? The Egyptian Abu Ghraib is considered to be one of the largest obelisks ever constructed, resembling the monoliths that have been found in different locations all over the world. It is also said in the ancient Egyptian texts that Abu Ghraib was also known as the place of the gods. Ancient Egyptians knew that this was a place to connect with divine energies. It is also said that at this place itself the priests experienced extreme awareness through the use of vibrations transmitted through the monolith. My question is, why were these obliques planted? And why specifically in different geographical locations around the world that are distinctly different, far away from each other? These monoliths don't really serve any purpose, like storage, shelter, or anything like that. So is it possible that these structures could have served a more powerful purpose? In the 1800s, famed scientist Nikola Tesla claimed to have invented a way to transmit electricity through air all over the world by harnessing the Earth's natural conductivity, or what Tesla called standing waves. A giant transmitter was then constructed known as the Tesla Tower, which could send and receive limitless amounts of energy because of one key component in the system, which was the Cortez crystal. The energy emitted from the transmitters is like a flashlight. You turn them on and it moves ahead. It spreads through space and goes from one place to the other. Tesla built this tower on Long Island in New York and was going to then hook this tower up to a power plant, from where he was going to broadcast electricity. According to him, ships, cars, and other power plants could also draw from this power with ease. Tesla believed that the ancient builders of these obelisks or monoliths discovered the ability to harness and broadcast Earth's power and the ancient equivalent of Tesla's energy tower may have been the great monolith of Egypt. The walls of this massive monument contain a high concentration of Cortez crystal, same as Tesla's tower, which some believe may have been a global wireless energy network. Unfortunately, in 1917, the tower was demolished for financial reasons. Till date, it is unknown if the monoliths or obelisks have any hidden power that can lead humanity to communicate with other life forms across the universe. Though I personally think they can, and it is possible that the world governments have been secretly doing so, it is only obvious that this kind of information cannot be revealed to the general public, considering that if a contact has already been made with an alien life form, this kind of information would be very confidential and of high importance. Nevertheless, we can always stay hopeful that someday someone will reach out to us from beyond the stars. I really want to thank you all for watching this video and staying with me. I will see you in the next video. Please subscribe to my channel and please do hit the like button. Again, thank you.